Okay. Hello, everybody. My name's Aaron Maslianski, and I am going to be moderating this conversation with Ferenc Toruk, and I'm really excited to do so. Um, before we start, if everyone could just put yourselves on mute if you are uh, not myself or Ferenc, uh, we'd appreciate it. Um, anyway, uh, I, my, I'm Aaron. I host a podcast called Inside the Skev, which is about the people and places of Skokie and Evanston. And I have the tremendous uh, privilege and opportunity to uh, be moderating these discussions for the JCC. And today I'm really looking forward uh, to this conversation with uh, director Ferenc Tarak. And uh, Ferenc is the filmmaker of the movie 1945, which is what we're gonna be discussing today. In this film, he paints a complex picture of a society trying to come to terms with the recent horrors they experienced, perpetrated or just tolerated for personal gain. It's a superb ensemble cast, lustrous black and white cinema photography, and historically detailed art direction, which contribute to an eloquent drama that reiterates Thomas Wolfe's famed sentiment, we can't go home again. Ferenc, thank you for, for making this film. Um, it was incredibly powerful uh, to me, um, I, and I think to many people. I mean, you've won awards for the film. And it's everything about it, I think, really captures the essence of the time. And one of the things, you know, the, the way that you just start off the film, where the main characters are at home and they're listening to the radio, and Hiroshima and Nagas Nagasaki just happened. And the, you know, the Russians are about to invade Japan, but here there's this small community in Hungary. It's almost like to set the stage. I mean, do you think that what it started with is just that the essence of the, that these people maybe felt like they are, were experiencing the end of the world and this is their story? Yeah. So, hello everybody. I'm Ferenc Török uh, from Hungary, Budapest. Right now I'm at home and uh, thank you for the possibility to uh, enjoy this conversation with you. So the question about the moment of the, the, the timing of the, the story. So uh, we want to show a movie uh, after month of the Second World War or the Holocaust. So it's really important in the first moment uh, for the American audience or the European audience, we are after the war, we are 1945, August, no real fight. The, the peace is coming, uh, the, the rebuilt, uh, uh, the, the, the new life is coming. But, but, but the, the focus for the possibility to, to this uh, restart re of the, the normal life. What, what, what is the uh, issues? What, what is the feeling of the atmosphere of this uh, period? So it's not a typical war movie. It's, it's, it's no. just focus like a Rossellini movie in, in Italy uh, after mass of the, 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 the you know, the influences of the war, so not not the fight, the, the 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 yeah, right. It's it's the it's how they reconcile, and there's so many different things that that you touch on the the mistrust between people, the drug use, alcoholism, depression, uh, grappling with what they dealt with. I mean, it's 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 very very rich in in the types of things that you touch on. Did you write this story? Or, uh, I mean, is it based on a true story? I wrote uh, with my friend uh, Gabor De Santo, who's got a 10 pages short story. Uh, so, based on a literal uh, short story, and we working on a couple of years, maybe six or seven, to to to. Um, 
change, transform this short story for a drama or for a hundred pages script. So, uh, but, but from the short story, it was the same uh, situation. Two Orthodox Jews arrived back for a small village in eastern part of Hungary and the village people uh, need to, to uh, recognize them and 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 so you know the, the, yeah. I don't want to tell the story because you watch the movie right so, absolutely everyone's got but, but, but in the script so the difference is in, in this script we focus for the in the script focus for the society of the village the difference is the the, the clerk character the, the the evil character and and uh, and the other village people uh, the the short story much more focused for the way of the jews who who arrive back and want to make a, a funeral or a you know so right yeah i, I mean and, and one of the themes is as the Jews in the movie, as they're going through the town and as they're plotting, I don't want to give away too much, but I mean, it's the crux of the story that as they're walking through the town and getting there, the wave of paranoia just starts to yeah. wash upon everybody in town, no matter who they are. I, you know, growing up in Hungary and in Europe, you were born after the war, but is that something that when you speak to people from that era, that was a common theme? Absolutely. So a lot of familiar story in Hungary and all the region. So not only Hungary, it's not a typical Hungarian movie. It's a, in the story is a fiction village, but people uh, speak in Hungarian language, but maybe Slovakia, Ukraine, Romania, all over us, uh, it's the same story. Uh, so, but focus for Hungary. So, uh, the, 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 the historical facts, uh, half million Jews died just in Hungary and almost 400,000 from countryside. And uh, the, the survivors, 100,000 or 150,000, mostly city people or, but, but the, 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 the big shame on, on Hungary in, in this uh, uh, horrible period the countryside people, much uh, poor, much simple uh, people who, who uh, had no any um, help and no, no, so, so, so this movie, so I'm uh, city people, but uh, of course, our grandparents and grand grandparents from countryside. So, so we want to focus for an a unknown village or a, just for a respect for these people. Sure. Um, I mean, is this something where, I mean, people in your family, where did they grow? Where were they living in the city or in the rural areas during this time period? in 45, I mean, did you speak with family members uh, or uh, about it? Uh, so this story based on my writer friend, uh, familiar stories, I'm, I'm not really uh, involved personally. This just, just, just I'm a, a little bit step back. And I, I, I try to focus, of course, the spiritual ways of the Jews and, and, and uh, 
and the village and the the the, the, the guilty village uh, the the hierarchy of the village village the the the, the clerk characters so so we build up like a, a like a wide pictures picture of, of the society so you know the 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 car drivers the the man from the pub the 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 clerk and the the really important of the the train station um, guys so so is maybe this guy in one one year before what, what was the was the um, uh, head of the deportation so so the past is in the present at the moment so so it's just one year before the 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 deportation so so is a really fresh um, problem of the village so we've, uh, when 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 I when I uh, built up the story, I, I, I tried to focus for the society of the village. Right. I mean, there's so many different things that they're trying to grapple with at that time, and you could see it with the Russian soldiers there, and like, what's the re you know relationship there, and how does that affect the the village, and you know, the the couple that's going to get married, but you know, there it's really because of the the drugstore and there's just a lot of different dynamics going on there and i met and then you have this all this property that was confiscated by the people yeah. there and, and i mean is that something that was uh an issue is that an ongoing issue at this point or was that like has property yeah. been given back or you know what has that been like absolutely is uh is a uh one of the new new perspective of this movie the the tough property questions so the drugstore so it's not only a symbol uh, and uh, burning like the capitalism in hungary but it's okay it's a, a, I, I wrote the critics and it's 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 true but it's not a simple a lot of drugstores were in that time, every village is not burning, is, is, is stayed and, and a lot of uh, houses and totally empty in, in that time. So, so like in the 21st century uh, capital, capitalist uh, economical thinking of us so we 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 try to to make the 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 hard questions so so for for that because uh, everybody curious and everybody want to know how how what is happened so so for for me is is also a, a basic uh, question okay uh, but after, before, when the communist uh, period in uh, 48 uh, started, in these two or three years, uh, what happened in the country? And, and, and how is it is a really good uh, uh, atmosphere or a basic for a drama? So this feeling is, is nobody in the in, in the good or, or in the right place and nobody knows what what was the next year so we are uh, three years before uh, to, to um, found to israel so but we are uh, after the war so it's a, like a, a like a island or or a black hole you know so right. i think is 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 a kind of a new new timing or the new new uh, starting point of the time <laughs> yeah it's like a singularity in time in a way yeah where everything can change at that point yeah. you know and but you look at it like one of my questions is you know how is this received in hungary um but you know to look at eastern europe or central europe and going has gone through this experience where you know, a large percentage of the population was killed. 
in this story, you talk about all the different issues with what happened with the Holocaust and, and you know, taking of property and, and then, you know, to, to fast forward to going through communism and everything else. And even now, you know, there's issues of anti-Semitism or things like that that have been talked about uh, or, you know, they're going on within Hungary. Um, how does how does an audience in Hungary look at this film, and you know, th how does how does the society deal with that type of trauma in history? So, it's not an easy question, but in Hungary, quite good critical uh, reception, and maybe fifty thousand admissions in the cinema and all over the best television pick up the movie and hbo and netflix so with a lot of uh streaming or you know so we are successful and also in the states uh, sometimes in western europe maybe in australia but of course in hungary the question that the, well, uh, so in one hand, the critics helps a lot uh, for the movie. The, 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 and the festivals, the Berlinale opening, of course, is a good start for a movie and good distributors, but uh, sometimes tough critics uh, against me or the movie, I'm a, you know, so I'm a, against, of Hungary or against my country and it's not true, you know, so it's, 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 it's too, too, um, so, so it's not easy. Uh, as, a, as a really clever professor said, it's a really good movie, but no uh, show to in abroad because it's not good for Hungary. You know, so it's also a, a, a opinion, but no any kind of uh, problems of my family or some some Facebook problems. You know, yeah, you know, but but, but it's not real problems. So I think the movie work 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 well and and working. So. Now it's also in the streaming and 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 it's, it's good. Yeah. But but it's it's strange because um, now I I, I said I, I move now for a theater uh, work because my next uh, movie uh, after that the 1945 is a really problematic now for. Uh, the, 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 the state found and the new political um, uh, curators or I don't know this guy who don't like me because the 1945 is not a good movie it's not good for Hungary so I'm, I'm, I'm not now I'm not in the blacklist but but almost you know so <laughs> so it's, it's, it's real and, and, and it's sad and, and I think it's a good movie. Yeah. But, yeah. No, I mean, I imagine it, things, you know, just uh, watching some of the films, there was a film as part of the film fest about anti-Semitism, the four faces of current anti-Semitism. And one was discussing what's going on in Hungary and the billboards about George Soros and things like that. So I imagine to make a film in regards to what happened in the Holocaust could be problematic for some people out there. And, um, you know, it, it, there just seems to be a lot of hatred towards, or at least in the film, there obviously was some hatred towards the Jews where the minute things became possible to, you know, in the story, you talk about like how they basically rounded everybody up. He gave, you know, the characters gave up their friends. Um, why, what was going on there that caused that type of hatred or spitefulness? And even between the characters in the film, there was such mistrust and this one's cheating on that one. And, you know, all these different things going on 
concurrently. Yeah. For example, the clerk figure in the cemetery, the door of the cemetery, uh, I think that the top of the movie before the fire. So uh, is a typical um, lying situation uh, when 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 the when the killer uh, try to help or or has something. So is a is a really confused and and everybody knows is a liar liar is is lying. And, and, and sometimes um, I, I feel it's, it's true in Hungary when, when and uh, okay, but I talk yeah. about- uh, we'll talk about something else. That's <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> um, too much politics, you know? Yeah, we, could, we can get into anyone's politics, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the film though itself, the, the artistic nature of it, it's all in black and white. And there's not a lot of dialogue, especially the Jews as they're walking through are basically quiet. Uh, why did you choose to make it that way? So the black and white, it was the first moment when I read the, the, the 10 pages the short story 12 uh, years ago, I, I watched the pictures in black and white. Maybe the, uh, the Second World War is um, the archives, the archive photos. Also, we, we watch black and white. And, but also, the, the black and white is a straight and, and simple way for a, a drama, like in a... Italian movies, uh, Rossellini or Visconti or Bergman. So th this this simplicity and uh, and hard dramatic style. So we're looking for. So it was no question not for the producer and distributors. So, sometimes the distributors for uh, for the television distributors afraid from the black and white because it's not commercial or, or uh, the people don't like the black and white, but it's absolutely changed in the last uh, couple of years, I think. Maybe for the cell phone, maybe for the, uh, I don't know, but now the black and white is not a problem now in the distribution. So the people love the black and white and, and discover again because the black and white is a, is a way to, to so looking for some different and much more spiritual. And that we want to make a spiritual movie because it's really just people. And, and when, when, when I um, uh, want to show the movie, uh, not just for because this uh, two Jews, religious guy, but, but I, I think the storytelling is a kind of a, uh, big questions like like okay but but exist somebody or or God or after that situation is is possible to to believe that uh, situation in God or or so so you know it's also in the side story of the movie and and I think for the for the spiritual thinking is is just not only for the long horse walk or repetition. Uh, I think the black and white help for the different kind of thinking or, or watch movies. Absolutely. I mean, I definitely get that sense like where you're back in that time period, like you said, because it's when you see the archival footage, it's all in black and white and you could really see it. And yes, the, the, the film does raise lots of questions, <laughs> like even the priest, when the, the man in the the pub goes and talks to him and you know wants to have confession. The priest doesn't want to talk to him. He just wants him to get out of there and not have to admit what had happened. Um, yeah, of course, the, the, the church is also a provocation and pro provocative side of the story because also no, no conversation in Hungary. Uh, the, 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 how, how was uh, the, the Christian and Catholic church 
of course we know the legend uh, a lot of uh, priests help for the Jews and that's stories but not everybody and and 80 percent absolutely not helped so so it's also we want to show this side of the story yeah it's a risky risky part of the the, the story of course but you know you know, um, yeah, it is a risky part of the story. And then the, uh, you know, there's just so many questions about what's, uh, what went on with it. Um, and there's the, the drug use, I guess, too. What, one question I had was, like, what was the clerk's wife doing? I never, like, she was spraying, like, a syringe into a... Morphine. Oh, okay. Morphine. So uh, the, the story, the wife of the clerk... Is a mentally ill uh, person at the moment. After uh, the situation, because she uh, knows everything, she watched everything, and she is the maybe the the storyteller for the future because because she understand the main square situation because she from the window, you know, so she's a really important figure and we want to watch, she's a little bit um, back from the city people and the pub life and the alcohol uh, society and the, the father of her was a doctor and a little bit aristocratic uh, figure of the movie and is, is is in, in the, that moment the, the morphine and that kind of uh, drugs was was much much closer for the character and we want to show so she's a destroyed uh, psychological person right. uh, not good relation with the uh, husband or the clerk and so between the, the son and the father, so is a, is a complex figure. And, and, and we need for that, that uh, women character, this macho movie, so it's a, it's a you know, hats and black suits and mustache, you know, so, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and the Jews also, two men, so we want to find a good, good woman character. Absolutely. So, you know, there's several people uh, asking to ask some questions live um, on here, which is totally fine. Um, so I will open it up. If, uh, if you want to ask a question, uh, please just uh, unmute yourself and we'll, we'll take a few questions one at a time. Karen, did you want to ask a question? Oh, I didn't know you were calling on me. Um, I can't bring up my picture because I said no, no video. It's not showing. Oh, oh it's, wait a it's showing now. So just wait a, uh, wait a second. There you I go. Had it, I had it covered up. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I really appreciate this. I, I thought this was a phenomenal film. I saw this um, just after it came out and won awards. There's a film group I was in that goes across the US, it's called Talk Cinema. That's kind of not doing anything now, but that's where I saw your film and I loved it then, but there was limited discussion. So I watched it again and replayed and replayed and replayed certain scenes. And I just feel it's, it's phenomenal and, and unleashes so much. Um, and I also just watched a film which actually relates to it um, that's very hard to watch called The Painted Bird. And um, well that, and I don't know if you've seen it or how many people will see it. It's very, very hard to watch. But while that deals with a lot of just um, the backward, the backwoods countryside um, prejudice and, and cruelty and viciousness, your film is much more, um, <clears throat> into the different personalities and the people and what, as little as you spend on some of them, you go into what makes them tick. And we, we 
kind of see that, yes, this is like a microcosm of, of all of anti-Semitism and it just is unleashed in this tiny little town. Um, one of the things that I thought was fascinating was your use of little, little tiny little things that, that have symbols for, for all of it. Like I noticed this time, uh, the, the woman who's having this illicit relationship with Jance, I forgot her name, but um, she's the, the jilted bride. When she goes and sets the fire, she, she steps on the glass that her fiance had knocked over when he left. And I think it marked her. It was like a reverse of Kristallnacht. She, she's, she's damaged by the broken glass. She will be marked now forever. And, and her, it's like everybody's greed is unleashed. And that scene at the very end where the, where the Jews take off in the train, it's when they first, when they first come in, um, the moderator uh, has said to you that um, they didn't say anything. Um, I think what they did say was so amazing because they told everybody and they made the rumors spread that those those uh, trunks, which were more like caskets, were filled with perfume and all the goods that would be in the store. So that it just unleashes this volume of greed. They don't have to say a word as they go down the countryside and of course pass that cross on the blank countryside, it's like this, this whole volume is unleashed. And at the end, when they leave on the train, which I thought represented the, the way Jews were transported on trains and the black smoke, what represented to me, instead of it, it, it kind of said, you killed all those people in the crematoriums. Those, that black smoke hangs over your village. I don't, I don't, I, I should stop talking, but I, I wonder what, if I'm You're right or right. what. Absolutely right. But I have a story for, the, uh, for this uh, last scene in the train station and the, the smoke. So in the script was is a nice summer day and no uh, storm, just sun in the beginning and the end also. But we, we shoot for 30, 32 days just in the village scenes and the, in the last two or three days to shoot in the train station, the train and um, uh, you know, the, the beginning and the ending because the, the train, the old train is really expensive and the train station is a complication and we, we just want to, to, to shoot in the end when, when we are complete with the drama in the village, you know. And uh, my assistant called me, uh, the second day will be is a big storm in, in Hungary uh, and we have no any, uh, you know, escape uh, way because, because we have got only two or three days for the, the big old train and, and, and we want to uh, change the, the situation and I think in dramaturgical what, 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 what is a good timing for the shooting and we, we in the last day we changed for the, the end will be in rain and the, and the, and the, uh, in the cemetery we started uh, the, the storm in sound, you know, just the thunderstorm, the sound. And after when, when they move on the, the, the field after the cross, we made uh, clouds and, you know, it's digital. So it's totally changed. But we use the, 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 the real rain when, when they arrive. Uh, back to the station, the Jews back to the station and the train back. And this is, is a kind of, um, uh, after the, the drama, is a kind of um, cleaning rain or something, is a, is a, is a tabula rasa or a, or a, so, okay, we 
never say tabula rasa, but 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 sometimes you know is it is a, a cathartic yeah. changing of the nature or is a like a finger of God, you know. So, and also this black smoke from the train. I I, I never uh, uh, plan to to make this. Uh, uh, shot in the end because I watched same like that, but it's impossible because only one camera and and the, the train moving and and no controlling of the small uh, smoke, you know. So it's it just we believe the the uh, old cinematographer, my uh, cinematographer, almost eighty years old and really good in in in. Uh, long lenses you know that and the, the long lenses and, and just uh, the sensitive mo movement of the camera with the small you know so and and this is this gesture of the the human gesture of the camera and of course the violin and of course the music and and uh, the colonidre so moving up the movie with the, the last and it, I, it's my, I think, seventh or or eight, six big feature movies. But but this is the first when I I totally uh, happy with this ending. Of course, it's a horrible ending uh, in the story or or a dramatic ending. But it's complete when I we when we when we shoot the the the, the smoke scene we absolutely totally fixed is this is the last scene no no editing room questions in in that moment the nature helped so you know so it was that's pretty perfect sometimes. yeah it was it was amazing it was yeah. really amazing so we have a question from suhail uh suhail if you'd like to ask Hi, um, can you guys hear me? Hi, everybody. Um, I still help. Hi, how you doing? Uh, so I, um, this was a phenomenal movie. I mean, I just finished watching it. I, I purposely left it to watch it this morning as I was doing work. So, you know, working from home kind of thing <laughs> to the extreme. <laughs> um, so thank you very much. Uh, for, for, um, so uh, you made a statement at the beginning um, that, you know, something to, to, to the effect that you don't want to talk about politics, but nowadays everything is about politics, whether you're here in the United States or in, in Europe. And your, your movie uh, that you did was is so phenomenal. Um, I mean, I've lived in Europe for a very long time. My parents live in England. I've got a lot of Hungarian friends in England. Um, and they, I'm, I'm 51 years old, and people of my generation, they still say, oh, you know, we didn't know, or our parents didn't know, or our grandparents didn't know. But your movie shows that the, the amount of guilt that the, 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 the local um, people from the village had. I mean, just two people getting off, two, two Jewish people getting off uh, a train caused so much havoc. Um, so do you... I mean, my question to you is this, is that do you have that, like when people watch this movie in Hungary, I mean, is there like a Hungarian um, translated, dubbed kind of version to this? Uh, do, they, does, do they say, oh, you know, like when people say, oh, we didn't know? This movie, do you see where I'm coming with this? Yeah, a lot of people of my generation, I'm close to 50, uh, said, oh, we we didn't know know this situation. We it's this is the first time. So you know that the also so in the communist period when we grown up, the we have no not really anti-Semitism, um, but no conversation about that question. And there is some literature, Imre Kertes, of course, uh, but in 2000 started 
something new in Hungary in, in that question. When, when our generation grown up and, and uh, had new questions for the parents, how was the story in countryside with the grandparents? A lot of uh, people recognize uh, we are Jews, for example, because in the last period it was not important or everybody was communist or so not nationalism and no religion. So it was under the carpet. So, and now a lot of movie, the, the Ida in, in Poland also is the same uh, situation with the po Polish uh, Holocaust aftermath this is in the 50s, you know, the Pavlikovsky movie is, is also our generation. So, so it's a new perspective and new questions because our kids also grown up and uh, ask us how was the grandparents' story? And we need to, to answer something. So it's, we, we, we have no um, time or place to, to escape from the, the, the truth and the reality, because now we are so far, mostly 70, 75 years is like a whole human life period. So now I think we are so, far to to watch straight and clear so no no of course is a complicated it's not it's not a black and white story like the movies the, the, this is, is really uh, differences especially in Hungary a lot of shades of gray you know so it's, 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 it's not not only guilty villagers and uh, you know so and so get, get. that's why you want to show the village is 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 a lot lot of different uh, uh, connection for the main uh, crime somebody maybe the young generation were innocent or just a witness but a lot of people uh, were a victim of, a, of the, the guilty situation and a lot of people we need to show who manipulated that, that people, who was in the power, who, who stole the, the, you know, the property, the controlling, the, the, the deportation. Maybe from the 10 million Hungarians was only 10,000 because the, the, the Germans, um, you know, controlled the, the, the situation. But this 10,000 people, the, you know, there's a real guilt people. There's a real, real, real crime and no any punishment after. Okay, maybe 500 or 600 people died after the war because some punishment of the Nazis or something, but now the conversation in the society is a big silent and and yeah. So um, I uh, want to you know we have a few minutes left and I want to I, I know Karen you want to ask another question I just want to ask if there's anybody else who'd like to ask a question uh, now, um, and then we'll get to we'll get to Karen's next question. Okay, Karen, go ahead. Well, this is amazing. Thank you. Um, so, well, one of the things that just ties in with what you're just saying is that I, I was uh, really impressed. There are themes that come up in, in other books that I've read and movies, you know, with, with uh, the, the, the priest being complicit. He's in many scenes where the clerk is there and papers are being shown. Um, you've got the, the guy that lives in the house that they, they used him to set up condemning the, the, um, the Jewish pharmacist and apparently being complicit in sending all the town Jews to the crematoriums. So um, 
you know, that's a, that, that is a big theme and it shows up in a lot of movies now too. There's, there's some, but there's another one and I can't think of the name of it. It was just before the coronavirus hit everywhere where there's a, um, a, a person who is sent off to war and then comes back and he's a farmer and it deals with a small town. There's a lot of movies like this that are coming up now. So I would think there'd be, and I'm glad there's this revival today. But um, one of the things that I think really stood out to me, especially watching it the second time, was how you, you point out that there were documents. So we know that the Germans kept a lot of documents and recorded everybody who went into a concentration camp and they recorded all the the, the property that they took away from Jews before they were even shipped into, let's say, the Warsaw Ghetto, you know, all the art was taken, all the jewelry was taken, and so on. But I was not aware that there would have been documents, even in small towns, where property was shifted and somebody actually signed it. I, it is the, I would think that's not just something that was in this short story. It must have been real and and if you can talk about that and also how with the rise of anti-semitism now so strong in europe and even in in hungary that that i'm surprised you you said you're on the verge of being blacklisted not that i want that but i hope you make more films but i would i wonder if if there's a huge backlash in throughout europe against statements like this so there's two two things there, if you can. Mm -hmm. talk about. So today in Europe or in Hungary, I think is a much different and much complicated this 21st century anti-Semitism. So so is is is, for example, uh, the nationalism and the populist government. Uh, try to good connection uh, with the right side, Israeli and religious uh, uh, Jewish uh, community and made big uh, respect and money for the monuments and the museums or it's, it's one hand is a, is a, you know, political uh, gestures. Also, in the street and the people uh, manipulate again against the rich people, or 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 so is a kind of uh, complexity and, and and back again the old uh, reflections, the the the, the Jews uh, banking and that kind of anti-Semitism and and. The new new thing is a liberal uh, like George Soros, you know. So the the, the politics and, and also uh, the conservatives new target, not the religious Jews, the the liberal, for example, American uh, New Yorker or Amsterdam or Budapest. Jews who are not religious but manipulated with, uh, you know, so it's kind of a maniac or paranoid uh, stories, you know, again. So it's a complex thing in, in, in Hungary right now, but uh, uh, so not really a problem now in Hungary. We have no conflicts in the streets, no, no a fight against synagogues. So now in Hungary for the young people, for a teenager Jews guy is a really good uh, religious or, or school life is possible. So it's, so it's, it's, it's not black and white, not good or not good, you know, so, so different, but, but I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a. You know, a scientist. I'm, I'm not a. I, I don't know the the real numbers, but of course, it exists. It's true. 
the, the, the against uh, the, the Central European University is a kind of uh, anti-Semitism, and 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 uh, it's I, I feel. But maybe somebody says no, it's just for the liberalism against with the conservatives. So you know, but it's. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Um, one thing, you know, we, I want to ask you uh, before we go is, you know, you, you talked about you're working on a play. We just want to know what types of new projects you're working on. What's that about? And, you know, how are you, um, you know, adjusting to the world with, with coronavirus? So uh, now I move to work to, to theater. Uh, but it's a different uh, story. Is a French writer, Yasmin Areza. Uh, it's a contemporary uh, play, a French play. So, and I, I, so I've got scripts, and I try to uh, find the, the producers and the distributors for my next movie project. But it's not easy now in Hungary. I got a good script for a uh, so the end of the 19th century is a is a big story. The first Hungarian Olympic winner swimmer is a Jewish guy in in, in Hungary uh, called Alfred Hajós, and he was the first Hungarian and the Hungarian Jewish uh, Olympic winner and in swim swimming you know so and it's a nice story but now you know so it's not not the not the best in the hungarian political games and now i in hungary is is not good so maybe i i we we try to uh, make a script in english maybe we will shoot in Eng english language we try to uh, find some Netflix uh, co-production, West German or West European uh, funds. So I don't know. So now I move to theater, but but now everything much slower and much. Not only the corona, not only for this craziness. Um, now one movie is five years minimum or seven or more. 10 years ago, it was maybe three or four, you know, the, the big projects much more slowly and, and, and yeah. It takes a lot of time to get things together. Yeah. 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 Um, where can people go to, um, to find more of your films and, uh, you know, follow what you're doing? Oh, it's not too easy. Maybe 1945 is, is possible to arrange uh, in, in the States, Blu-ray and, but in other movies, I, we, we try to do uh, a streaming uh, copies and yeah, I, I hope next year or, or, or in the, in the close of future. Okay. Well, if you want to watch 1945, it is on Amazon Prime uh, in the United States. Um, and I know on IMDb, you have the list of all of your films. Um, but, uh, you know, I really want to thank you for uh, a few things. For making the film, number one, I think it was a really powerful film that, uh, that myself and the audience here, and I know many others, really appreciate. Um, and we thank you for your time today to join us. I know it's night in Hungary right now. Yeah, no, no, can... no, no. Seven o'clock. Now right. we got three, three hours from this. Okay. <laughs> well, even so. And by the way, it is very cool, though, that we're able to have this conversation with you. Uh, you're in Europe, and you know, I happen to be in the Chicagoland area. Um, but people can be from all over. So it's kind of one of the silver linings to be able to have these conversations and be able to speak with somebody like you and be able to ask questions and participate. And I want to thank the audience and everybody else also for, for coming. But I want to leave you with the final word. No, thank you. And I love Chicago. Lots of 
great screening and the film festival was there in, in, in October and, and it was also a nice screening. So thank you for the possibility and I, I'm really happy and proud to, to show the movie in the States. It's, it's really the biggest success of mine. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And have a, have a good rest of your day, everyone. Bye.